we're just taking the motorway for a little bit just to get our bearings uh, we'll head up to the coast towards lanes uh, you know, just get a stop in there just get us out of Santander it's quite a busy old uh, town so we'll still be taking the motorway for a bit till we get things squared up so yeah, get up as far as there and I'll try and get on the coast road then up along where it's mountainy looks good Looks good. Ooh, look at that. So I think that's the Picos. The mountains in the background there, the grey coloured ones. And it seems uh, I looked a lot further away on the map when I was looking at the route out oh, for probably 80 kilometres. 80 kilometers out of Santander and it seemed pretty close to it now. Spot, isn't it? <laughs> and it did. Them roads went on forever and ever and ever. So we got into this little village and we just pulled in just to figure out where we were going. Have a look at the set nav and see what the story is. And boom, the Tenere won't start. Battery's flat. First day in, first breakdown. I was really hoping it was going to be the Transalp. But I've got this little eBay battery charger thing with two little jump leads on it that I bought for 30 quid and it saved me on a couple of occasions. Starting the bike or charging the phone when you've got no access to any power. Glad I had it with me. So I'd be heading for Covadoga. Be the furthest point west we'd be heading. It'd be all east then back towards the Pyrenees. So we said we'd get out here, get it done, and we start making our way back. I don't think you're allowed up there. I don't think you're allowed driving around there. Go up that side, will The whole uh, Spain came here today, did it? Spain came today, I think, yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. There's, there's, there's an old, really old 18th century town up on top of the mountain, but you mustn't be able to drive up there. And then there's a lake on after that again, but you see all the buses all along. I see you're only allowed in by bus. So if you guessed we'd end up at Novena, fair play to you, because I would have never guessed it. We didn't really know what was going on. We just followed the crowd around. There was someone in part and buried in here, a saint or a king or a something, I don't know what it was. But uh, I fully reckoned there was someone at Locan's funeral. Some Locan at funeral. Doga. Um, 
didn't really know what we were heading into there. Uh, it's an old village and there's a lake up the road um, and you're not allowed to drive up the road to the lake. You have to get a bus to get up there. It's just so busy around here. But uh, it's a really religious place. We didn't know that before we got here. The place is mobbed. So we had mess and we had a chat with a Peruvian priest there. Um, yeah, there's a novena going on. <laughs> so we're all set for the journey now. Should be all good luck from here on out. Too many things to look at. <laughs> I have to say the roads around here are just unbelievable. No matter whether it's a main road or a side road or a Touristy road, it's rather brilliant. Ears are popping. So I really underestimated this place. Uh, didn't think it was going to be as good as this, and I thought it would be pretty small. Um, kind of looking at the map, it was one kind of road all around the ball. Yeah, the place is big a couple of days here if you wanted um, so yeah really underestimate absolutely beautiful so we arrived at this little village on top of the mountain so trez I think it's called and it was definitely time for something to eat it had been a long day, I think with over 250 kilometers racked up at this stage, so definitely time for something to eat and a beer. Looking down on spot res or whatever you call it. Just had a bit of lunch in there. Uh, what time of the day is it? It's just 10 past four. Uh, about 230 odd kilometers done there today so far so we're heading off now to try and find the campsite get an old base for the night and might go off and do another little bit of a spin down after that see how it goes pretty wrecked we're up early this morning uh, five o'clock maybe maybe even before so it's been a long day Yeah, just amazing up here. Absolutely amazing. Um, there's no other road on the map, we must have to go back. Oh. Jeez, my brake pedal feels weird. My brake pedal feels weird. It's like it's pressing all the way or something. It's got no back brakes. It's fucking steam coming out. Oh no, it's two breakdowns for the Tenere, zero for the Transalp. Simple fix, just a bit of grease on the brake pin, but uh, no, not good.
So it was time to find somewhere to camp for the night. Been a long day. We've been up early when we got off the ferry and we covered quite a bit of mileage. So we found this campsite right in the middle of the Picos and said we'd settle in there for the night. Got a little camping spot down by the river. And that was day one over. Successful. A couple of little uh, hiccups along the way for the Tenere, but nothing major, nothing we couldn't start out. Uh, it was nice out the first day under your belt. Get used to driving on the other side of the road and get settled in, so yeah, we were wrecked. I'm going to sleep good tonight and looking forward to tomorrow.